What's up everybody, the Kotalik is here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to enable Xdebug 3 in Xamp installation with PHP 8.1 and debug PHP applications in VS Code. First, we will debug traditional PHP application in browser with multiple PHP files in a folder. Then we will debug MVC framework application with two different methods also in the browser. First, using PHP's built-in server. Second, using Xamp's virtual host. We're going to also debug console application. We will also see how to use debug console in VS Code to execute additional code in your project while we are debugging. We will also see how to activate and use conditional breakpoints. This video is going to be really interesting and useful, so hit the like button, get ready, and let's start. If you want to see a video for Xdebug 2 and PHP 7, check my previous video, which is released two years ago. Before we start, make sure you have PHP path added in system variables path and is available from command line. Okay, since we have it now, we can already enable Xdebug. First, I'm going to open the project PHP Crash Course 2020. That's the project I created um, for Traverse Media's YouTube channel. You can watch that video, it's a six hour, six and a half hour PHP course, and that's the source code, which you can download from the following repository as well, PHP Crash Course 2020 from my GitHub. All right, let's open this using VS Code, and let's open any files like comments, for example, and I'm going to create echo PHP info right here. So I just want to print the information, the PHP information. Then let's open XM control panel and let's start Apache. Now let's go in the browser and access to the folder we just opened. And here we have this and let, let's open these comments. And here we have the all PHP info. We have to copy everything from here. Just hit the control A and control C. And now we have to open xdebug.org slash wizard. Let's gonna open this text area. We have to paste everything what we copied and click analyze my PHP info. It's gonna analyze and give us the corresponding DLL file to download and put in our project. Here's the DLL file and it's gonna give us also instructions what we need to do. I'm gonna click on this DLL file to download, save that, open, and I'm gonna rename this into just PHP X debug. And I'm going to cut this and go under my XM installation, PHP, EXT folder, and I'm going to paste this right here. Okay, that's the place where the extensions are located, and my X debug needs to be right here. Okay, now I'm going to open PHP INI, which locates under PHP folder. Let's scroll, scroll down below and find PHP INI. I'm going to open this using VS Code open let's scroll down below and i'm going to add uh, the following code at the very bottom so this is just a grouping mechanism so under xdebug i put the xdebug mode is debug uh, start with the request yes and the zen extension corresponds to the following dll basically this is the syntax for xdebug 3. For Xdebug 2, it's a different. If you want for Xdebug 2, check my previous video. If you want to see the detailed explanation or migration guide from Xdebug 2 to 3, check the following link docs from xdebug.org docs upgrade guide. Basically, there are three things you need to remember from this. First, instead of all these several lines, remote enabled, um, default enabled, and so on, you need only this. Xdebug mode corresponds to debug. Okay, that's the one thing you have to remember. Second is that the default port was changed from 9000 to 9003. And the third thing you need to remember is that remote auto start was removed and now we have to specify start with request yes. And that's basically what we are doing right here. Xdebug mode start with the request yes and the default port because it is already uh, 9003 we don't change the default port if you want to specify the host and port for xdebug you have to specify using client host and client port 
for example if you have an old configuration uh, where you are listening basically to port 9000 you can specify it like this previously in xdevac 2 it was remote host and remote port now it's a client host and client port in this case i'm not going to specify because i'm going to use a default client host will be local host and the client port will be 9003 so i'm going to remove this now i'm going to save php ini and we're going to open xm control panel stop and start Apache to take the changes we made in PHP ini. Next, let's open the browser, open our project PHP Crash Course 2020, and let's open, for example, the folder 12 OOP, the inside which I'm gonna basically enable debugging. Now let's go under extensions and type PHP debug. It's gonna open the following extension from Xdebug. I'm gonna click on install. Then we're gonna click run at the top add configuration choose php and that will create dot vs code folder in the project with launch json and we have three options to debug our application and the default port is 9003 okay let's go in the run and debug and i'm going to choose listen for xdebug the very first one and click on play right here then let's open the browser reload the page and the only thing we need is to create a breakpoint. So let's open the 12 OP and index PHP. And I already had a breakpoint right here, and the code came right here. Let's actually remove the breakpoint and click play button. So without the breakpoint, if we just refresh the page, it simply works. I create a breakpoint, now I reload the page, and the debugging has started. And we see that the line comes right here and we have the following controls, which is for continuous step over, step into, step out to restart and stop the debugging. I'm not going to go into two details of the debugging itself, like what is step over, what is step into, etc. If you want a dedicated video about covering the VS Code debugging interface with options, more detailed guide like a debugging a real world application, just let me know in the comment section down below. This video is how to set up debugging with VS Code. So basically, the only thing I'm going to show you is the conditional breakpoints, which is really handy feature. Let's hit the breakpoint right here and let's continue and let's step into inside the student constructor. And I'm going to create additional breakpoint right here. I'm going to right click on this breakpoint and edit the breakpoint. Okay. And right here, I can put an expression which um, we should either evaluate true or false, and whenever this evaluates into true, the breakpoint will be active only in this case. Like I'm going to write, for example, STID equals 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to hit the enter. So let's open the other file, and I'm going to remove all the breakpoints from here and continue. Now let's open the browser and reload the page. Okay, the debugger comes right here because the STID basically is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's continue. And if I change the STID into 1, 2, 3, 4 example, save this file and reload in the browser, the debugger doesn't get activated. Okay, simply because the conditional breakpoint is not satisfied. Okay, pay attention right here. So the breakpoint has an equal sign right here, which indicates that this is a conditional breakpoint. Okay, let's stop this. I'm going to actually close this. And now let's debug a second PHP MEC framework application. By the way, I'm working on a video, Setup VS Code for PHP Developers, in which we will cover all the necessary extensions, code snippets, tips, and tricks you need in VS Code to effectively work on PHP. So I think it's a good time to click the subscribe button and enable notifications not to miss my upcoming video. If you want to get the source code of this PHP MSC framework, you can check this on my GitHub as well. I do have also seven or eight video playlists on YouTube channel where I build this framework from completely scratch. If you want to see, you can check it out. If you want to just get the source code, check the following repository. Okay, here I have the project. I'm going to open this using VS Code. And the very first thing I'm going to do is click Run, Add Configuration, and choose the PHP. Okay, let's go in the Launch JSON, and I have to modify a few things. First, I'm going to run this using a built-in web server, so I have to modify a few things. In the runtime arguments, I'm going to specify uh, dash s I'm going to specify right here localhost port 8000 and I'm going to specify dash t and 
basically dot to specify the current um, current directory. I'm going to remove the program and in CWD I'm going to specify public. So public needs to be the folder that needs to be served. Okay, so and I'm going to remove um, the pattern and URI, URI format from server reactions. So I'm going to actually save this and go in the run and debug and I'm going to choose launch built-in web server and click play right here. This will spin up the server on localhost port 8000. Let's open in the browser localhost port 8000. We don't have any breakpoints probably, so let's open index.php, which is the entry script, and that locates under public folder. And let's create a breakpoint right here. Okay, let's reload in the browser. And voila, the debugger was activated. Okay, so again, you can step into, step out, you can do whatever you want right here, you can deactivate errors and exceptions if you want like that, but the debugging is active and that is happening using PHP's built-in server. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, create a virtual host and have uh, xdebug activated using virtual host, basically, it's pretty straightforward. So let's open the um, xamp directory, let's go in the xamp folder, go in apache conf extra and open httpdv hosts and right here i'm going to create let's uncomment this and i'm going to create one virtual host for our php msc framework and second which is going to be fallback for localhost let's create the second one which is going to be for localhost it points to htdx folder and the first one will be php mvc dot localhost okay and the directory will be php mvc framework slash public okay that's going to be the folder which needs to be served okay we have to save this and we have to open xm control panel stop apache and start that and now if we open the browser and just type php mvc framework uh sorry php mvc localhost that's the server name we gave right here it's going to open the application we can navigate we see that's working now let's open vs code go in the run and debug and click listen for x debug and click play we have the breakpoint in index php so whenever we reload the page the breakpoint gets activated and just like this we can actually start debugging the only thing i'm going to show you uh, will be how to use a debug console let's actually uh, modify a few things like let's uh, create breakpoint right here let's create a variable right here name name equals zura okay and let's say that right here we simply output the name okay so right here i have a breakpoint so let's continue and it comes right here now let's open the debug console click terminal new terminal debug console and right here i'm going to type name equals john on the left side under variables we see before i run this code we see that the name where is it we have the name user defined constant super globals no we don't have it in the super globals okay let's step over actually let's stop this and we have to rerun because it was already running when we created this name okay so we save that and reload the page okay now we see zura right here and let's listen for xdebug and reload the page and now we see on the left side name is uninitialized let's remove the breakpoint from here and continue now we see name is zura okay now down below i'm going to set the name equals john and i'm going to hit the enter now i see on the left side that the name was changed and if I simply continue and have a look in the browser, we see that the name basically corresponds to John. Now that was outputted. Okay, so just like this, you can use the debug console to modify certain things while you are debugging, which is really handy. Another thing which I want to show you is how to debug console applications. So right here, we have a console script to run migrations and it's called and it's called migrations php so we can run this using php migrations php uh, migrations php and it basically um, writes there are no migrations it, it also tries to connect to the xdebug on the given port but because the xdebug um, is not active we are not listening then it writes the following xdebug warnings so if we simply start listening for xdebug and execute the php migrations php 
if we have a breakpoint in migrations PHP, it's going to stop. So let's open migrations PHP and create breakpoint right here. And let's execute the script once again. And you'll look at this. So in migrations PHP, the breakpoint gets activated. Okay. And we can also switch to launch currently open script and click the play button, which will immediately start debugging of the migrations PHP. Click play right here and the breakpoint gets activated right here. And again, we can use all the debugging options. All right, guys, that's it for this video. And thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please hit the like button. Thanks everyone for watching and see you in the next time.